for Monday. Shakes out like this. Another gorgeous day. 76 degrees at noon. 81 at 5. Those mostly sunny, partly cloudy conditions. Winds on the lighter side out of the east. That sun then setting at 842. So take that lunch break outside. Take dinner on the patio. It is a day to do so because then overnight we'll have mostly clear conditions. We could see some fog developing towards tomorrow morning, especially in our southern communities. You could have some dense fog. So we'll watch for that. Check back with us before you head out for your Tuesday. But we could see some of that develop with temperatures dropping back into the lower 60s. And tomorrow will be another very similar day, mainly dry, partly cloudy. We will add in a little bit of humidity, though. So could we see a 10% chance of a stray shower or two. It can't be ruled out, but I really think we'll stay mainly dry, that it won't be until Wednesday where we get our true shower and storm chances. We're gonna add in that more moisture, that more soupy air to our atmosphere, and then we get that daytime heating, and this is when we can see some very hit or miss showers or storms bubble up, mostly in the afternoon and evening hours. Now we're gonna keep this pattern Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Not a washout whatsoever any of the days, but you need to keep an eye on radar and uh, just have a plan B for any outdoor activities just in case nothing does look to be severe at the moment. But of course, that can change as well. So you need to keep up with us throughout the week. Look at these dew points, though. We are off to the race. It's going to become very muggy and sticky once again. You'll notice it a little bit tomorrow, and you'll really notice it Wednesday and Thursday with that oppressive air mass that will sit in. So there's the first couple of days. Your full 7 to 81 today. 83 tomorrow, 84 on Wednesday when we start to see those pop-up shower or storm chances, mostly in the afternoon and evening, again, continuing through Friday. I think Friday is your least likely day to see them. But then a frontal system will come through on Saturday when we have a cold front pass through. That's going to give us scattered showers and storms. And then behind that, we'll slowly lose that humidity, drop back those temperatures, and end up dry on Sunday.